वेलकम टू द सीएसट्रो सो इन दिस पार्ट 4 ट्यूटोरियल ऑन स्पेक्ट यूटिल्स आवर ऑब्जेक्टिव इज टू फाइंड एंड मार्क सम प्रोमिनेंट लाइंस इन गैलेक्सी स्पेक्ट्रा सो अर्लियर वी हैव सीन दैट आवर गैलेक्सी कंटेंस सम लाइंस ओके ये लाइक दीज आर लाइक पिक्स रिप्रेजेंट द लाइन ऑफ एलिमेंट्स इन द गैलेक्सी सो what we have to do we have to mark does uh, mark does at what wavelength these uh, lines appear in the galaxy okay so uh, for doing that uh, here i have a link uh, which contains uh, the uh, spectral lines in the rest uh, wavelength or in the left frame so let's click it and open it so here you can see that it contains line of the uh, galaxy and, and quasar so suppose i want to like uh, go for our h alpha line so this is my h alpha line and its a uh, rest wavelength is 6564 angstrom and similarly we have like uh, o3 lines o2 lines and uh, we have n2 lines Okay, so these lines, uh, so this table will be, so this table will be helpful for uh, finding uh, what is the rest uh, wavelength uh, of any uh, spectral line of the element. Okay, so let's do it. Okay, so first uh, I will do, so first I will pull out uh, galaxy spectra in a uh, rest frame so rest frame so i will have code uh, from our previous uh, lectures tutorials so i will go i think in lecture uh, yeah, lecture first itself or maybe i can go for second so here is continuum subtracted okay so here i will copy it and paste it okay so here uh, you can see that this is the spectra and also we have to plot this spectra uh, in the rest frame frame okay so let's do it so you can define here uh, or maybe uh, first you want to like plot this spectra for a, uh, a small portion right so plot spectra in a small region so i can make as here x cut yeah i can make here x cut um, x cut equal to i can go for wavelength and i can uh, take uh, values from say 2330 to 2450 and I can also make a y cut flux so I will just copy paste here and I will give the same uh, slice slicer now you pass here here x cut and you pass here y cut right so here you see that you got you have you got here a small uh, portion of the spectra and like it contains uh, three lines so we will try to find uh, these like what these three lines are in the uh, rest frame okay so for that uh, we have to plot a spectra so plot spectra in rest frame okay 
so for doing that you need to define define your wavelength divided by 1 plus your red shift so your z is so z value is here so i will take here z value we have obtained and then our spectra has has been brought into the our rest frame so i can give a title here for time being plt dot title rest frame spectra and you decode to this much right so our first job is done now we have to um, mark these lines i like what these lines are represent okay so um, we'll use this table okay to uh, find these lines so i can uh, i can give some lines here I can give some lines here so I will put here so lines and so you have like three lines okay so uh, I will go for each alpha so each alpha has this much wavelength Rest wavelength. Then we have N two. Then we have another N two. So these are lines in the spectra. Now. We have uh, got the lines. You can also get the line names if you want. You can label them. So label them. Labels equal to. You can give here. H alpha and then label it into. Then you can again into. Now you want to um mark the lines in the uh, in this plot okay so for that uh, you can um, plot for all uh, three lines so here i will use for loop so use for loop to so Three lines, right? So I will uh, type here for i in range of length of lines. Maybe you can make it as an array. So in p dot array, so it will be like a array, one d array. Now, in the length of lines, and then uh, so you have to show using vertical lines. So, and so via vertical vertical lines. So I will plot vertical lines. So for that type pretty dot x v line and give at hot x okay so you have to give your lines lines of i right and then uh, you can give your labels or maybe simply you can plot it uh, like that it will plot it and uh, yeah we'll customize the figure later so run it okay maybe you can get a color different color you can give for time being so color equal to red 
else would be comma okay so here you can see that we have got three lines here uh, at their uh, center Okay, so now we want to change like different colors to these uh, these lines. So you can uh, go here and give C equal to colors and give your index. Turn it. So here you can see that you have like green, red, and your black line for different uh, lines to represent. You can also give label uh, to this. Uh, so you can give level equal to levels and pass your i so you can see that your red is your inch alpha black is your into and green is also your into align okay now if you want you can also like uh, put your uh, your rest wavelength values so for uh, doing that you need to uh, go here and give a string and give a bracket and then go for formatting so format lines of i now run it okay so here you got that you have like uh, these uh, these lines are like at what wavelength but uh, you are like missing the uh, line names so for that uh, just go here and give one bracket and lines and then you can uh, you can labels of i or run it okay so here you got a more uh, descriptive uh, spectra you can see that h alpha is at six five six four and into is six five eight five and again into is 6549 angstrom you can also put angstrom for that type here r and you can put here latex format dollar dollar and you can give command for uh, angstrom okay so you can see here got angstrom in front of the uh, number of the your uh, number of quantity of lines so this is a quantity and this is like unit in angstrom so this way you can do the labeling so like you can like plot uh, all lines in that spectra but for time being i have only done for a small portion of the full spectra to show that how these lines may look like you can also like control if you want uh, like the uh, the portion of a line, a small portion, so you can say 0 0.25 and y equal to you can say y mean here y y mean and y max equal to 0 0.75. So if you do, then you like your line will be shifted to only the uh, middle half of the line. Okay, so you can see that this is like into h alpha and your mm, into line again. So I will put the whole uh, line, not truncate it. Okay, so this way you can mark your lines, and these are your legend for the plot. So. It's a like very simple uh, thing to do in matplotlib that once you have read shift and you have like uh, know the rest wavelength so these are like rest wavelength of 
lines okay and here like names so like names of line names of line okay so this way like you can plot a small spectrum and d red shift is using uh, the divide your wavelength by 1 plus z and then you simply plot it and do some formatting then you will be able to obtain this uh, spectra in which uh, lines are marked by your vertical lines with their label and legends properly so i hope you got the idea that how to uh, find and mark lines in a galaxy spectra so thank you